channel it's Diane and this is the angel hug for Thursday December the 12th and today I'm going to pick a card just on the subject of how to get the best out of 2014 as we're coming to the end of this week's angel hugs and the end of an era in angel hugs for the time being at least anyway so for Thursday let's look at be honest with yourself. Okay, so that's really, really powerful message. And the message is, again, just be absolutely certain that the path that you're on is the path that you want to continue on. And I'm also feeling a sense that this applies to relationships as well. So as we get towards the end of the year, it's going to be really important to get very, very clear about who we want in our lives, as well as what we want in our lives, what we want to do with our lives, what we want to contribute, and where we want to put a lot of energy in 2014. So it's gonna be a really powerful day to start thinking about, okay, if I'm gonna redesign my life the way that I would really like to, things to, to move, you know, if I'm gonna put a lot of energy into things in 2014, what energy do I really want to be manifesting something new in my life? Is it the energy of uh, frustration and limitation and not being honest with ourselves about who we want to engage with? Or is it the energy of expansion and freedom and really amplifying our freedom to choose who we spend time with and also allowing those connections to enrich our lives and to be a part of the vision of what we want to create as well. So uh, the card says, look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. So basically, sometimes it can be frightening to look at the truth because the truth will require something of us. Sometimes the truth will require some sort of a change. And I think it's also important to remember that that change can be a gentle change. It doesn't have to be a violent change. It can be a change that, yes, might be quite drastic, but if we know that we are supported and loved by the angels as we make that change, it will be all the more easy and gentle and we will be all the more able to manage whatever comes as a result of the change. And the card continues, it says, lean upon us for courage for, and for the strength to take good care of yourself, focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. So be very honest about what it is you really want as you come towards the end of this year because you will have much more energy behind you if you take a rest and you withdraw and recharge. And as you begin to go into 2014, we will all feel much more energised. We always do at the beginning of a new year and it's important to know that that positivity is going in the direction that we want to send it in. So I'm shuffling uh, again, I've shuffled again the Secret Language of Colour cards and I'm just going to pick a card from the top and what am I asking for? I'm asking for the message of 2014 in terms of this healing that we've been doing and what we want to manifest. So there will be other messages I'm sure but just for Thursday, what is the message of 2014 that's going to help us um, if we are honest with ourselves now, what will be the result? What will be the result in 2014 if we are honest with ourselves today about what we really want? That's it. Strengthen your body. Interesting one. Okay, so what I feel about this is, and sometimes it's so almost so unrelated in a sense that I'm thinking how am I going to make sense of this so I kind of connect with my guides and I, I say you know what is the sense of this what, what why has all of this sort of been strung together by this universal thread what's the message here and what I'm feeling here is that you can't negotiate with your body your body will let you know when you're not telling the truth your body will let you know immediately when you're living in a way that is not for your highest good, in a way that doesn't support you. So notice the signs in your body. If you are plagued by aches and pains and lethargy and you are just not feeling yourself on a regular basis, uh, getting run down, notice that 
and start to be honest with yourself today about what you will need to change coming up to the end of the year in order to bring you into alignment with your truth and to bring your body therefore on board in more radiance, more energy and more capacity to do more of what you really came here to do. So your body will become stronger as you become more aligned with your truth. That's the sense that I'm getting. So that is another way of saying the healing will continue next year, of course, but in order to maximize the strength and the power available to us now and to bring that strength and power into our bodies so that we can do more and manifest what we really want, we need to start to be honest with ourselves about where we're putting energy into things or situations or dreams or ideas or people that don't really fit in with the divine plan for our lives and what we came to do. So that's it for Thursday, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow with the weekend angel hug and the final angel hug for this particular series, um, this particular incarnation. And um, yeah, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. So